Hello everyone and welcome to the next installment of uh, Basic Big Game Tactics. This will be section the third example from section three of chapter three, and uh, this is based on a free ebook that's available on the World Shangchi Federation website at the URL below. Now uh, this is quite a short short example and it would demonstrate uh, the use of capturing material with discovered attacks. Now uh, this will be what we call an example, an anti-example, whereby uh, the consequences of not um, expecting or appreciating the gravity of the situation can be seen here. So a short um, analysis, red would have two chariots, one horse, one cannon, black would have two horses and two chariots. Black would have the extra pawn advantage uh, in, this in this situation. Now, uh, one thing in this example would be that the black chariot here was still closed and uh, it had not developed, but um, black had already developed his chariot and uh, the other horse at his uh, flank. So, in this example, black started with by op off offering an entry of material. Now. Uh, in this situation, in the example given, Red chose to capture the pawn because he was he wanted to even the pawn advantage. However, this would be a blunder with very major consequences. Now, Black Red should have accepted the trade, and the situation would still be in equilibrium. So, because Red chose to capture the pawn, Black would play an intermediate move or intermediate check forcing the uh, advisor to lower it and after that he would continue to play uh, r8-2 and black would now try to capture the cannon now um, to prevent the cannon from being captured black raised the advisor again to protect the cannon however black could simply capture the Red cannon by force because Red Black would now threaten to checkmate with the Anglo horse checkmate with R4 plus 8. And uh, to resolve this checkmate, the Red Chariot would be lost. So this would be an example of um, very accurate consideration and planning by uh, Black in his quest to gain material. And after Capturing the chariot, it will be Black's two horses, one chariot versus Red's only chariot, and this will be a winning situation. So, a short recap uh, Black to move first, Black would offer a trade of the chariots, which Red should have accepted. And I ran this position through my computer. If uh, Black had, or if Red had accepted the trade of chariots, uh, the Black would still have a slight advantage of about 50 points. However, after uh, refusing to accept the trade, uh, Black would immediately have an advantage of about five, uh, 400 to 500 points. So, trade. And another thing, <clears throat> when I ran this position, uh, when Black was re uh, delivering a check, uh, Red should have sacrificed his horse then then with R4 minus, uh, C4 minus 2. So these were the moves that were generated by my computer. And uh, as can be seen, Red would lose the horse, but uh, he still have a playable game because he would be compensated by the uh, pawn. So it would be Red's two chariots, one cannon versus Black's two horses and two chariots. Uh, this was some of the this was a possible line. And as can be seen, uh, Black would still Black would prepare to capture the pawn and uh, have the advantage, but uh, it would still take some effort for Black to win. So C4 minus two would have been a better move. So this is a very short example, but it would show the importance of appreciating uh, various uh, various tactics to gain material. Uh, please go through this example a few times and you will learn quite a, quite a bit about ch basic Shang-Chi tactics. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, today's video. It's very cold today and I'm still shivering. So have a good week ahead and have fun.